let's now create the profile page and we have to upload a media or simply a image to our system so we have this drop down menu and we just want one more tab here called profile so i will open vs code and here i will firstly go to resources views here on app dot plate dot php so let's close these things and search for logout so this means we have this logout and if we just want another anchor tag having name of profile let's see how it's going to look okay so this means we have to give this drop down item class let's paste that here and let's see once more yes it is fine but we want whenever we click here we will land on a new page called slash profile and then we can have other things so firstly go to web.php file and here i'm going to create a new route called profile that should be a get route and this i will call profile and we need to create a profile controller so profile controller and if you don't want to create just return a view just like this if you want to use this kind of system that means like this profile and it is done so we don't have to create the controller even so let's now create this profile view so here in the views folder new file called profile.blade.php and here we firstly have to extend our layouts dot app file which is this one okay so we have to extend this and now in a new section which is having the content content we have to provide whatever we want to give so end section and here just for checking i will say hello go refresh the page click on profile and nothing happens because if i open my app.plate.php here i have to give that route route and here we have to give profile so we don't have the name of that route so let's go to routes that means the web.php file and give a name called profile simple one so now if i go refresh the page and yes you can see we have this hello here this means our system is working absolutely fine but what exactly we want to give here we just want to give here a choose file system where we can choose file and then submit button to upload that so let's go to get bootstrap.com and here we just want to search for any other component which is inside input group and just at the bottom we will find this upload file system so we have to grab this one from here go to our vs code inside profile i will firstly create a container let's create a row and paste that and select all press ctrl shift p write re indent and it's done <laughs> super so let's go here refresh and yes it is looking good but we just want another button just after browse so that we can submit it so this means we need a form firstly so that this input has to be inside that form form first so it's like form giving the action part else here form end and now again reindent and now just after this i will give a input button of submit value is upload and let's give a class of btn btn success 
let's go refresh and this is good but it's shrinked but it doesn't matter but what I'm going to do margin left four so that there should be margin between this upload system and this button so this means if I click on upload yes it's working fine because we don't have any action or even don't have any method so method is post and action we are going to create like uh, there should be an route of avatar dot store so we are, we will going to create this route but let's give here csrf field so csrf and it is done <laughs> because with the 5.6 uh, this is a new blade system which will give you a csrf field here so we have some problem because we have not created that avatar dot store route so again we have to go to web.php file here i will create a resource route for avatar and that should be for avatar controller and this means we need to create that avatar controller also so let's open terminal and here I will say PHP artisan make controller avatar controller and this controller has to be a resource controller so that we have all these crud based functions in our controller so you can see we have all these things so this is good and here is the store part so if I say return dollar request arrow all what it's going to do let's see if i go here refresh the page yes we have this and upload it's having the token only but if i choose any file like suppose this one upload oops we don't have that you know why because if i go to blade file in this input everything is good but we don't have the name for that input so let's give a name and I will call it avatar now refresh browse select upload and yes we have the name of the file we have just tried to select it and we just need to upload that but before uploading we just have to make this form ink type multipart and form data and now let's go to avatar controller and here on this store function so actually what we want to do whenever the user select any file from here we just want to associate that file to that particular user only so here on this store function firstly I will get the user by auth user and then I will say user arrow add media and we have to get the media from the request so request arrow avatar and just after this we have to say to media collection we have to specify what collection we want to have this media for so if you are not providing any collection name like if I say avatar so that should be a collection avatar but if I not provide any collection name it will be just a default collection so just after this return redirect and just back so go back where we have come from refresh this page select a media click on upload we are back here and if I go to my database refresh the database and yes we have this data here and if I now go to VS code go to storage folder app public folder we can't see any folder here because of some problem related to VS code so what I'm going to do I will reveal this in finder that means now if I see and yes inside this profile we have this image we have just uploaded so what I'm going to do let's restart this VS code so maybe if I restart it will be fine 
and yes this time we have this so maybe there is a problem with my vs code maybe okay so this is the way we can upload an image to project and in the next episode we will see how we can show the uploaded image here and then after we will work on some great part as i have showed you in the introduction video so don't forget to subscribe like bit films on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of this thing called laravel and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye